Hi, everybody. John Runyon here for Blue Fathoms Television. Now, this is going to be a very unique experience for everybody because I am only doing this as a cameo. Our regular spokesmodels will be doing more interviews as we go along. But here I am at Our World Underwater 2016 at the Rosemont Horizon Stevenson Convention Center. And I'm here with Bill Messner, the founder and inventor of the Pony Pack. Yesterday, I found Bill at his display, and I became very interested in his equipment. It allows divers to change out their air supplies without ever taking out a regulator from their mouth. So you can imagine if somebody is in distress because he has just run out of air, instead of having to buddy breathe, Bill has come up with a system where it's kind of like a plug and play. But I'm stealing his thunder. So, Bill, it's great to uh, let me interview you today. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you having the opportunity to talk with you. Thank you. Well, what are, let's let's talk about this. Let's let's talk about how you came up with this concept. Let's start from there. Okay. Uh, when I came back into diving after a hiatus, originally I was going into ocean engineering, oceanography, and ocean engineering. Uh, wound up in college switching to another career. In 2007, I came back to diving. Uh, my original passion to design safety equipment for divers. So the first thing that concerned me was sport divers, not diving, redundant. And when you look at the global statistics on diver fatalities, it becomes very clear the need for all divers to be diving with a second independent air source. They have been sources available, but they're very uncomfortable in the water. So sport divers say, I'll take my chances and won't dive with it. And then you have all of these avoidable fatalities. Right. You've got the spare airs that you can strap them to your tank as a side mount or kind of somewhere hanging from you. Right. We yeah. came up with a much more simpler system. And you can have a full-size 13 or 19 cubic foot tank, which mounts directly on the front with four quick releases. At your zero center of gravity in the water, it disappears. There's no discomfort to it, no fighting it. You're not trying to roll over because of the imbalance of the weight. Um, and because of that, divers will wear it on every single dive, which is what they need to do, because the emergency always happens when you don't have the backup air with you. <laughs> Boy, don't I know it. We read right. the statistics all the time from the Divers Alert, Alert Network. Right. Exactly and we, right. we see all of these statistics where people have run out of air and then they bolt for the surface right. and they embolize and right. when all of this is easily avoidable. All avoidable, yeah. that's exactly right. And, and I, I know a personal story where I watched a cameraman, his computer was screaming at him because he was running right out, out of air right. and he was so involved in filming he completely lost the idea that he, was he didn't out. have air right. until he didn't have air. Fortunately, the group was there to go here. here but with this system which I find really interesting is that you don't have to go here you, you just have it. to go here, here. That's exactly right. and you know we talked about this a little bit and I want to show the audience exactly what we're talking about so Bill let's talk about what we've okay. got well the sport version is everything you see minus this okay Okay. And in that case, all you have to do as a sport diver, if you lose your air, is take this out and put it in your mouth. Okay. Professional divers, public safety divers, inland commercial divers, they dive with full face masks, and the regulator is part of the mask. Correct. So to be able to switch in a redundant supply, you have to have what is called as a gas block. And so we developed a four-port gas block that's part of the system, and it has some very unique features. Number one, the gas comes in from underneath the arm into this hose here. Okay. You have a hose connected to the pony. Okay. So what happens is you have a knob that you simply rotate. When the knob is pointed towards the back, you're breathing off your back tank. If you lose that, rotate it to the front. Now you're breathing off the front tank. The important thing is the diver never needs to remove his mask to switch the air sources. The next thing is we developed a fourth port here. That fourth port has multiple functions. First of all, it allows two divers with pony packs to buddy breathe if they're diving in the full face mask and never have to take off the mask. 
And how that's done is each diver has a second hose that's coiled up in a pouch. And so if a diver, let's say you're trapped, running out of air, I can uncoil a hose, patch it into this fourth port, rotate the knob, now you're buddy breathing off of my main tank. And that's an innovation. It's the first time that two full face mask divers can buddy breathe and nobody's taking off the mask. We can even attach a surface supply as emergency coming from the surface. That can be plugged into there. There's all kinds of ways that you can get additional air into here to be able to extract the diver who may have become entangled and was running out of air. So it's a major innovation in the industry of diving to be able to do that and no diver is ever having to remove his mask, which is what they had to do before. Now, I'm sure that you've gone through some kind of patent-pending design of this gas block, and you're working toward a patent on this? Yes. Uh, actually, we have patents filed and granted worldwide on the harness system. The patents on the uh, gas block have been issued at the provisional level and at the U.S. and the PCT level. Our whole umbilical system, that was the most recently filed, that is for global uh, patenting, the USPTO came back and said we are the world's first umbilical system that delivers all of the service to a diver in a single umbilical. And so the industry, people who dive commercially have been saying what we've done is a game changer. So it's really important. I know we're going to get into that a little bit later on. But uh, yes, we've got six patents that have been filed and are granted and pending that is That is outstanding. One of the other things that I found fascinating is, is the idea of that umbilical system that you've designed. Because obviously, commercial divers, they're tethered to their umbilical right. systems. And they have a bailout bottle. Right. And they have all of this redundancy. The problem is, is it's all based on the air from up there right. or the air in their bailout bottle. Right. Now with this, you get a secondary uh, bottle for your use. That's right. And what's important about our umbilical, commercial divers dive with hoses that are two inches thick, multiple hoses that are bound together. The divers cannot swim like a regular sport diver. They have to be lowered on cranes. They can walk along the bottom. But they don't have 360 degree mobility that a sport diver has. Okay. We developed a high pressure system that reduces the gas line and the umbilical and HD, v, uh, HD uh, video, bi-directional audio, and two 12-volt VC circuits down to an umbilical that's the size of your little finger. Right. And that allows the diver now to swim freely like a regular sport diver. And it's because of that mobility and because the equipment now can be transported as regular luggage on a commercial airline rather than commercial or military transport. These are all major game changers for the commercial inspection and industry. We're very excited about the opportunities that are coming up. I think, I think you have a really neat concept, and I did want to get an opportunity for the, the viewers of Blue Fathoms Television to actually Terrific. take a look at this equipment. This is the gas distribution system. It takes in any high pressure source, tanks or compressors. We have a backup source. If you have to cycle tanks, then we rotate the knob temporarily, cycle the tank and come back. We have a variable high pressure source that we reduce and stabilize with a regulator. We normally set it at 1500 PSI. The user can set it at anything he wants. There's an 800 PSI alarm, so if the pressure drops, it tells the line tender you got to change the tanks. That splits into two independent lines. This system supports two divers. Those independent lines then go into the umbilical reel. This is the umbilical reel. The gas distribution supports two of these. And you can see on the left side, the gas goes into the reel. On the right side is where all the data and power and electrical connections are made. Once those two are connected together, inside all of that becomes live inside of this reel, which is easily spinnable. What this very small umbilical line holds is a 14,000 PSI high pressure gas line. This is literally what the diver breathes from. It also includes a 5,000 pound test safety tether. You can lift a car with this. The umbilical also includes 1080p digital video, duplex or four wire audio, 
and it also includes two 12-volt DC circuits for accessories such as heated undergarments or extra lights or any other sensory devices you want to attach to it to use those circuits. All of that goes through this very lightweight umbilical. The diver can swim like a regular scuba diver rather than being working with huge two-inch hoses that requires them to walk or to be on a crane. We talked about the data. The data all comes from what we call as our video pack. This supports four divers, four cameras, 1080p digital video. We can plug in any audio system. It gets plugged in. When that system is plugged in, all of the video and all of the data and audio for four divers is all recorded on the system along with GPS and that is also broadcast to any PC, smartphone, tablet for any remote recording or communication. In fact, an owner of a ship could be talking with divers who are under a ship halfway across the planet doing an inspection. When they see a problem, they can communicate and they can document everything that is seen and said between them. Again, this is for the public safety or the inland commercial diver that is diving with the umbilical system. This is another way of looking at it. The umbilical data comes in here, goes to the camera and to the mask. The gas from the back tank comes in off of this hose from the regulator. The high pressure gas line is coming here and that's what connects to the first stage regulator. Again, you have the gas block for rotating between the various gas sources. There's one other feature that we also offer, and that is a very unique first stage regulator. Most regulators deliver the gas from the tank as a low pressure gas out to the diver. We also have a high pressure gas in port so that our umbilical line, this, if they don't want to dive with a pony pack in the front, we can connect that to this and have the high pressure gas go into the tank, continually refilling the tank as the diver is consuming the air. Well, you've gotten an opportunity to look at all of the different configurations of the pony pack. I just want to take a moment and I want to thank Bill for letting us come over here and film this interesting new piece of equipment. And that's what we're about at Blue Fathoms Television. We're about new equipment, new ideas, new ways to dive. So I hope that you're going to come back and see what else we find while we're here at Our World Underwater. And until I see you again, stop by BlueFathomsTV.net. That's www.BlueFathomsTV.net. And take a look at what we're doing. Everybody have a great day, and thanks a lot.